S is the surface area of a cube changing when the volume of a cube is 64 centimeters cubed and is increasing at a rate of 2 centimeters cubed per second. So, surface area. So, what we have to do here is we have to solve with respect to this uh, to the volume and then use that result to solve the surface area. area. And what we need to find is we need to find dx dt and that allows us to solve for the surface area. So uh, volume for a cube is just v equals x cubed and uh, surface area is just equal to um, 6x squared because there's six sides to a cube. All right, so volumes change in volume with respect to time. dv dt is equal to 3x squared uh, dx dt. So we know that the volume is increasing at 2 centimeters cubed per second. Um, so this is going to be 2 centimeters cubed a second is equal to 3. Um, let's see here. Actually, this is like three equations, three unknowns. So divide three by three. So actually, okay, so um, dx dt is equal to two divided by three x, three x squared. So this whole thing. All right, so um, here we get change in, so ds dt is equal to 12 x dx dt. So we just plug in for this. So ds dt is going to be equal to, and when we do this, um, that's what we set dx dt equal to. We just substitute for it. And based off of that, we can likely solve it. So 12x times two centimeters cubed s divided by three x squared. And ds, so this is, well, d, excuse me, ds dt is equal to, um, ds dt is equal to centimeters squared per second. Okay, so this, be, oops, this becomes a four, and this just becomes an x, so we end up with eight centimeters squared per second over x, depending on what we choose x to be, ds, dt. And based off of this, um, so if cubic, so, okay, so we got a volume of 24 based off of that, so 24, so that looks like ds, dt. because the cube root of 64 is four, it's going to be four centimeters squared per second. And that's it. Okay, I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and you have yourself a great day.